All right, if it has been a little while since you've taken a trip on a plane, get ready for security changes here at the Buffalo Airport. Channel 2's Dave McKinley looks at some new TSA passenger screening technology. What the TSA showed us was a new type of technology which enhances their ability to make sure the person trying to get on the plane is really the person who they say they are. And so if you haven't traveled in a, in a little while, you're going to see something a little different. It's the latest version of TSA's Credential Authentication Technology, or CAT system. We call it CAT2 because we're the federal government and we always have acronyms, right? Sure. So I just need your photo ID. Like CAT1, it scans your photo ID to confirm your identity and flight details, but the new ones also have a camera. And then I'm going to have you step right in front of the screen. I'm going to capture a quick photo. It compares a real-time photo to the one on the submitted ID to prevent fraudulent documents at the security checkpoint. TSA says it doesn't keep the photos, and you can opt out. They'll just screen you the way they did before. And if your ID is getting a little old, no worries. Farberstein demonstrated by producing a driver's license from 2005. Though it had been long expired, it still identified her as the person in the photo, even though it was taken about 20 years ago. Her biometrics match. She does have a flight with TSA PreCheck today. It's a very smart machine. Meanwhile, things have gotten quite busy for security screeners here and at airports across the country. In the Friday before Memorial Day weekend, TSA set a new record for the most people ever screened in our 22-year history. Nationwide, we screened 2.95 million people. And they're about to get a whole lot busier. We're going to probably screen 3 million people or more at some point during this summer. And the one thing CAT2 won't do is speed up the lines. And so that's why we encourage you to get to the airport about two hours early. On your side at the airport, Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.